Welcome everyone to the 2021 4-H Talent Review. My name is Colt Knight. I'm the State Livestock Specialist up here at the University of Maine. And I'm going to be introducing all of our talented youth this year. To begin with, Miss Ella is going to do a spoken word version of a poem she wrote uh, about the pandemic and all the craziness that's going on in the world today. <laughs> titled For My People, based off of a poem by the same name written by Margaret Walker. For my people sitting in classrooms again after over a year, yet separated by six feet, three feet, masks, plexiglass, one way, never touching, sterilized, with cotton swabs up their noses and needles in their arms better than a round trip ticket anywhere. For the kids, babies, and toddlers learning from faces without noses, without mouths or expressions, forced to spend all day on a computer not knowing that in a few years they'll be accused of being sedentary, grumpy, antisocial screen addicts because of it. For my people scared to come to school, scared to leave their houses, scared of needles, scared of going unmasked, scared of people, scared of death, scared of contamination, scared for themselves and scared for others. The world rages around us in a deadly circle. For the people screaming, the unwanted, ignored issues of society, all pushed to the back burner by the rest of the world, who stand and push and rise and fight and shout and create and give, sitting on the rooftops, waving signs for the marginalized. For my people unable to get out of bed, out of sight, out of mind, out of time, crying, screaming, sleeping, breathing, shaking, swearing, thinking, dreaming, hoping and praying and pulling out their hair, feeling useless as they watch others rise around them but unable to move the mountain that's keeping them down. For my people stuck in a home where they can't express themselves, who are hiding and sneaking and yearning and weeping for the person that they thought they could be and the clothes that they'd wear and the songs they would sing and the people they'd kiss. For my people who marched on Washington with their signs and their demands, with the sweat of their backs and their hopes and their dreams and their trust in the sea of strangers holding hands, wearing pink hats, and standing for women, for love, for safety, for hope, for votes, for equality. For my people at Stonewall, kicking and punching and shouting, rising, running and chasing, and making brandishing parking meters ripped from the ground, paving the way for the teens of today to marry and love and have kids and be healthy and play sports and not be killed in the panic defense of quitting their murderer. For the women who got the vote, who went to work, who didn't have children, who stayed unmarried, who had a career, who went to school, who got a degree, who went to the White House, who nursed COVID patients, who became mentors, role models, teachers and parents of new generations. And for the kids of the future whom we will raise in a world no longer burning, killing, hurting, rushing, destroying, oppressing, and bleeding. Watching us loving and hoping and dreaming, standing and singing, who will take our morals and make them better. Take our lessons and our hearts and for their own people write a letter. Thank you. Our next performer Jacob Mitchell is a recent alumnus of 4-H. He's now studying organ and vocal performance at the University of Maryland. An interesting note about Jacob 
He started 4-H at five years old in Oxford County, Maine.
Our next performer is a guitarist out of West Virginia named Isaac Butcher. I first got to know Isaac because uh, his guitar teacher is a good friend of mine from my home state of West Virginia, Robert Schaefer. Isaac is definitely shaping up to be a force to be reckoned with in the guitar world. Up next we have Sam Perkins on the piano. 